The withdrawal of the Atala Marginal Oil Field license from the Bayasa State Oil Company by the federal government has continued to generate controversy with the Ijo Youth Council, IYC, uh, supporting the state government position that the license be reawarded to the state. Former Governor of Bayasa State and current Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Press Silver, had recently given reasons for the withdrawal of the license, saying that the federal government was losing funds because the marginal oil field was not being utilized by the Bayasa State Government, uh, reacted by uh, calling on the federal government to reward the Atala Marginal Oil Field Mining Lease to the state. Speaking to our correspondent, Jesse Ese, on the recent development, the national spokesman of the Ijo Youth Council, IYC, Comrade Ebulade Ekirefe, uh, described the Atala Marginal Oil Field as Bayasa's most prized asset, saying that the new administration should be given a trial. The governor should be able to tell the DPRO that the government has the capacity to manage the, the marginal oil field. You understand? And if the government has also made that serious commitment to getting back the, the, the oil field, what I expect the DPRO and other critical stakeholders, you know, that is responsible to issuing out the license to do is to is to secure further commitment from the government, but to completely revoke the oil license and give it to a company that is not even known by some of us who are critical stakeholders and leaders from this place is something that we are not too comfortable with. The IYC spokesman also commented uh, and commented also on the controversy surrounding the petroleum industrial bill kicking against the 3% for host communities, while frontier basins get 30%. Also, a joint nationalist and chairman Supreme Egbisu Assembly, uh, Werenipre Noel de Gifa, stressed the need for resource control as he maintained that the bell has no bearing on the livelihood of the people. The NNPC need the, the, the sales of oil production from the Niger Delta region to fund the frontier basins. And if the Niger Delta is volatile and oil production is being brought to the barest minimum, how would they not get the money to fund the frontier basins? So that is the fundamental question we are asking. Now, politics came into the passage of the bill, and our people now said, okay, now give me 35%. Just to show that commitment, they went back and kept it at 3%. As a joint council and every stakeholder in this region is kicking against that bill that was passed. It has no effect in the lifestyle of our people. We are the highest losers. Our environment is polluted. The receivers, out of how many oil block, which one was given to an German as an ethnic group? Ijo is, for they said, is the fourth largest tribe. Bayasa is just a small place. So if the Bayasa imaginary oil field will be denied be out of man on management issue, what do you think? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.